Rob Gilligan has been the president and CEO of the Cape Girardeau Chamber of Commerce since April 2022. The Cape Girardeau Chamber of Commerce is made up of more than 800 businesses. Rob, welcome. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. You betcha. Good to see you. Uh, so almost a year now you're, you're, you've been on the job. I am, yeah. I'm just right, right around 50 weeks right now. So uh, we'll get through, uh, you know, the annual dinner, uh, the annual celebration of, of, of activity and the community and the region. Uh, and then that'll kind of transition into the, to my second year and, and some just the great opportunities here in Cape Girardeau. So real quickly, a quick background, where are you from? Sure. What brought you here? Yeah, so originally grew up in Emporia, Kansas, east central side of the state. Uh, community somewhat similar to Cape Girardeau, a regional community. Serve kind of a five county uh, region there. Home to a state university, Emporia State University. Also started out as a normal school, similar to SEMO. Uh, so some, some similar histories there. Uh, really just came here because of the job opportunity. Sure. Had some familiarity with the community, uh, with some of the great opportunities here in South Southeast Missouri, uh, and and when the opportunity came to, to look at the the job with the Chamber of Commerce, and looking at where we were at uh, and career and opportunity for for my household, we thought you know this seems like a great place, and 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 we've been here now for a year and haven't regretted a day of it. It's awesome. So a year in, you're you're sticking around. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> we really we really enjoy the community. Uh, you know, Kelly, uh, my partner, has a job at CMO, and she's a, a faculty member in the Department of Psychology, and and we're just finding a great welcoming community, but more importantly, a community of opportunity uh, and a region of opportunity. And, and the chamber plays such a critical role in helping the community to kind of come together uh, and, and, and work as a region to grow. And, and to me, the things are just set up awesome for the opportunities in, in Southeast Missouri and I'm excited to be a part of that. Well I was gonna mention that I know you've dug right in you know right off the bat to uh, strategic planning and that sort of thing but I know you really look at you know how can Cape Ben how can Cape work with the region as a whole uh, to make Southeast Missouri better. Yeah, you know, one of the, one of the things that we've learned as we look at communities and, and we and we look at the dynamics of population shifts, of technology, of industry and business, is that we can't be so focused on you know one simple place or one community, but instead we're impacted by the broader region we serve. Cape Girardeau, of course, being a pretty big service region uh, for m most of Southeast Missouri, Southern Illinois, uh, even you know stepping into, you know, and touching into a little bit of Kentucky and Tennessee and Arkansas that'll do business and engage here. And so the success of our community in our region, of our members, the 800 that we identified, um, is, is as much based on the success of Cape Girardeau as it is the success of the broader region of the community, of the region. So how can we support and be partners with members, communities, organizations beyond the borders of Cape Girardeau to grow the region? Uh, and, and so to me, that's going to be the focus uh, of the Cape Chamber, how we can be good community and regional partners, and, and how we can leverage the assets of Southeast Missouri to, to the benefit of all of us. And what are some of those things you've identified as, okay, these are key things that we're going to look to go after? Sure. Uh, you know, so uh, early on, one of the things that we, you know, spend a lot of time, com Chambers of Commerce, obviously focus on, on business growth and opportunity. Uh, there's some real great assets here for innovation, uh, the work that it's being done uh, through Codify, through the university and new programs and opportunities for new and growing career pathways, uh, expansion of services and educational pathways through uh, the public school system, the CTC, Mineral Area College uh, being added into the mix here in Cape Girardeau, Rankin uh, coming down into the region uh, with a new investment in Perryville, uh, and, and of course Three Rivers you know, College that you know has an office based out of Sykeston. There's a lot educational training. There's a lot of workforce development. Um, Southeast Missouri um, and really the Midwest are known for work ethic, which is a great asset for businesses and industry and people are looking to grow. And really there's a lot of just community opportunity. You just spent the last 20 minutes really talking about things that make for a good quality of life, a university, a great athletics program, entertainment, let alone the arts that occur in the community and, and, and music that you're a part of that scene. So all those pieces together 
together make for a great opportunity for Southeast Missouri. If there are things that you think that we could improve upon in our area, Southeast Missouri, Cape Girardeau, uh, what are some of those things that you've identified? You know, I, I think that we talk a lot about partnerships uh, and, and that's probably where we ha can make the most impact the quickest is by working together uh, as organizations uh, in our community, whether it's our peer organizations. So the effort that, that we'll make in working with our peer chambers of commerce throughout the region, uh, the partners in the community, uh, educational partners working together uh, to build, uh, local government partners working together to build business community working together. Um, not just in our communities, but in our region, that's probably the lowest hanging fruit where we can really start to strive. Uh, we find, you know, it, things are always done easier and more quickly if everybody comes together and, and works as a team. And, and I think that's where the best opportunity exists currently is start building that regional team. So uniting that voice and getting that voice in front of Jefferson City. Yeah, yeah, being visible in front of the state legislature, having a visibility at the federal level. You know, one of the, one of the great benefits, we've got uh, great leadership and representation from our district, the Southeast, the 8th Congressional District with Representative Smith and, and the role that he plays. Uh, uh, and, and so what are those opportunities that we have uh, working both the federal level at the state level and can really strive to put together resources here to grow Southeast Missouri? So as we mentioned about a year in, um, any, any surprises that, that stick out or, or, or opportunities that uh, maybe you didn't expect? Sure, yeah, think about surprises. Uh, the diversity of, of resources available in Southeast Missouri and spending time in, in, in all the communities we've been, finding uh, unique shops, unique businesses to, to, to do uh, business with, opportunities to find entertainment, uh, whether it's the, the winery scene of Southeast Missouri and, and Southern Illinois or the different various restaurants throughout the region uh, that can provide entertainment. Uh, and then the community assets we have have, uh, that the community invest in uh, that are real true you know we we spend some time obviously as, as a member of the Cape Chamber Board we talk about you know the impact that tourism has here and when you think about the sportsplex and what that drives here on a weekly basis with visitors from throughout the Midwest right coming from Missouri and Illinois and Ohio and and Iowa and Kansas and Arkansas you know to travel here and spend time and the experience they have uh, something I didn't know we had but what a what a great opportunity. Well, I think to your point, I get a chance to talk to so many people uh about things happening in Cape Girardeau that, you know, didn't really know about. Yeah. Uh, and until you're kind of, you know, submersed in it, um, there's, a, there's a lot of story to tell uh, to those that, that live here and those that we'd like to come and see live here. You bet, yeah. So, uh, real quickly, in your, in your downtime, when you're not putting on the chamber hat, what do you like to do? Uh, so we've really enjoyed exploring the region uh, okay. so far, uh, doing some travel. I've got, we've got friends in Memphis and in St. Louis, so spent time in both communities, uh, a little bit of a trip over to Nashville. I like live music a lot, and so sure. anytime I can see a concert, uh, Kelly and I tend to find our, our way that way. All right, well, Rob, it's been a fun year so far, and best of luck on the, on the year ahead. 